Look at the triumphunited.com. What's up? Uh, what's up? As you can see, the spider has a diet that every fighter wishes he has but can. Because I have, I, I just for some reason maintain this beautiful physique. Um, I usually start the day out with some scrambled eggs, bacon, toast, country fries, or potatoes. Um, more bacon, more eggs, more toast, and cap it off with a Captain Crunch French toast. Um, the reason why I'm eating this right now is it's very different from my usual breakfast of spam and eggs, um, which was most of my diet for this camp since I was still in Hawaii. Um, but for some reason, this restaurant don't serve spam. Are you guys biased to spam? What's up with that? It's a great tasting food, and spam is the reason why I maintain. 185 physique as you can see but yeah healthy gives me all the nutritional facts uh, nutritional um, values or oh, can't forget the fruit orange but yeah can't wait um, I'm about 195 right now hopefully I can get down to 185 after this meal I had a good camp. Um, flew out a bunch of good guys to help me train for this fight. Uh, a bunch of good ground guys. Um, at first, I was gonna bring down Kimo, but uh, I thought he was dead. But later on, I found out on a video clip he's still alive. Should have brought him down. Uh, that would have took my game to a whole new level. But uh, instead, I flew in Jake Mapes, who lives in San Diego now. He's from Maui. Pretty good at jujitsu. Actually, real good at jujitsu. Um, Jake Clark. Really good, um, ranked number two in the world, Greco Roman wrestling. Igmar Santos, uh, Leo Vera, black belt. Uh, and obviously, training with myself is kind of hard, but it can be done. Uh, and my longtime friend and trainer, Troy Mandalones, aka the rude one. Um, and yeah, came up here, uh, came, came up to uh, Oceanside and uh, Newport Beach. Finished my last hard week of training with uh, BJ Pan guys at the Ruka Gym. And uh, got to train with Leo Vieira, uh, who's an accomplished Jiu Jitsu black belt. And uh, the Pens, who are unbelievable um, in what they do that is, beating fuckers' asses or beating people up. And yeah, just being around all my friends and getting my mind right. And, The future of Kendall Grove after fighting um, when I'm forgotten in the sport of mixed martial arts. Um, I had a lot of things going in my head on what I wanted to do. Well, I, have a, I used to have careers in roofing, tiling, housekeeping, landscaping. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Maybe uh, I'm part Mexican, but um, but I really came in touch with my inner side. Um, I think I want to be a poet, but I just came to the conclusion that might not work because I, I, I pretty much can't spell or read. So that's pretty much out of the question right now. Um, so probably just go back to roofing. I like roofing, being on a hot sun all day, sweating my ass off for some rich white dude that lives on Maui, fixing the holes in his roof, or at least they think I'm fixing it. Um, but yeah, might have to pursue a career in that. It's the only thing I know how to do. Beat people up and apparently fix holes on roofs. Best skating shoes on the planet right here. Most comfortable, only shoes for the spider. And one thing to say about this man right here, I wouldn't be here in my career if it wasn't for this guy right here. He taught me the meaning of toughness and the willingness to fight whenever, whenever, while you're getting your face beaten for 14 minutes. 
last second you still have a shot. Just hang in there. Thanks, Jason.